Hi everyone, uh, Travel Addict uh, Guy here, still in Porto, and I found this little restaurant here, guys. I think it's a good place. Seems like the prices are good. I've seen the signs a couple times, guys. They just opened now, it's around seven o'clock. They're just opening for dinner. And look what we got here. A lot of different things. I like how they're showing the picture. So you've got some dishes for even five euros. Iberian pork loin for seven. Okay, 22 euros for the octopus. The sea bass, eight euros. That sounds pretty good. Nine for salmon. Codfish and bread. Braga, which is the Braga codfish. I believe this is the name of the place. Okum Kaneko. I believe that's it, guys. Check this out, guys. They're using a ladder to hold up the lights. That's kind of interesting. I guess a little style. Okay, so I actually ordered a white one. I didn't even realize that, guys. Okay, well, we're gonna go with the white today. And this is Planalto Dauro. Okay. And it's very dry. All right. Wow. Not usually what I go for, but I guess with the fish, it might go okay. So he was already pouring the glass. He did open the bottle fresh, guys. I had a little issue with the camera. It happens sometimes. So, yes, a little bit dry on the nose. Hmm. Oh, that's very dry indeed. Wow. A very dry white wine, guys, and very young. It's 2020. But it is a reserva. So that's what we have today. Planalto. Well, that is the wine selection, guys. And I went for the sea bass. So maybe it'll pair good with that. Okay, here we go. Some information. As its name suggests, this dry white wine is made from noble grapes grown on a plateau of... The Dauro region sheltered from the Atlantic winds by the hills of Serra do Moral. This wine does not have much color at all. A little tiny bit. Maybe it's the lighting. Hopefully some people can leave some comments below and tell me if this is a good wine or not because I really don't know much about the whites. Let me show some more of the restaurant, guys. Here it is here. So just a little small place. Hola. <laughs> there it is. And there's some seating outside. So we've got some seating outside here. You can see that. Just want to show you the place from the outside as well, guys. Take a look and you can see where we are. And actually we're across from this huge building here. I believe it is the government building. And here is the place from the outside. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and kittens, take a look at this absolutely stunning sea bass look at that guys a nice size too we've got the garlic on top you've got some lemon there and look at this rice guys wow did not come with anything the guy said do you want rice or salad and i said how much is it he said two euros guys two euros for all that rice oh yeah this is the jackpot guys and the wine i think was like two or three euros too maybe three wow guys this is what i'm talking about if you can find these cheap places, this is the way to go, guys. You can find them in Porto, but they're not everywhere. And if you go to the tourist area, you're certainly not gonna find places like this, guys. So where do I start, guys? Look at this. Look at this. Skin just peels right off there. Some people might even eat this. I don't know, maybe I should ask them. Maybe they eat it here. It's got some of the seasoning on it. And you got that beautiful white fish inside. Look at that, guys, with the garlic. In fact, I'm gonna go all the way. I'm gonna go with this garlic here and just take it like that. I'm actually liking this wine more as it goes. I do notice some complexity to it, so it does linger on the palate. And that is where you start to get the nice flavors, guys. So here we go. Let's dig into this. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Wow, just melting in my mouth, guys. Absolutely melting in the mouth. That garlic itself is very soft. It tastes like it's been cooked along with the fish. Maybe baked. There is some salt flavor in there. Definitely some butter, some salt, and probably some more flavors that they used to cook this. There looks like there is a few bones in there. I did not there's one right there, so I'm gonna have to pull that out. The first bite did not have any. There are some bones in there, so gonna have to be careful with that. And they do serve it with the head on here in Europe, guys. So you have to get used to it. And that is the way they like it. Trying a little bit with the salad. A little fish with the salad. Mmm. 
<laughs> just heavenly, guys. Just heavenly. Wow. So impressed with this little place, guys. Definitely going to give this a recommendation. Wow, this is going to be high up on the scale. Might be approaching a 10 on this one. But how does that dry wine go with the fish? Yeah, maybe not bad. Maybe with fish, they do recommend the white, guys. Wow, I just got used to drinking red when I was in Chile. They drank red with almost everything. Let's get that plate of rice over here. Oh my gosh, is this for an army, guys? This looks like it's for three or four people for two euros. Come on now. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, this is almost a dinner on its own, guys. Wow, maybe I could put a little fish in there even. So you got the tomato. Looks like you got some green pepper in there and it is smoking hot. Mmm. Wow, that's so flavorful. I could eat that on its own, guys. Look at this. One thing I'm noticing around Porto, I'm hearing a lot of old American music. They seem to like this old, like, swing style or older American music like that. Probably from the 40s, maybe the 20s, 30s, 40s, something like that. And I'm starting to like it, guys. Really, I have to say, it's very, very catchy and nice, especially when you're eating, relaxing. I'm so tired of hearing that like rap music and stuff. Wow, guys. Okay, so I asked my friend over there that was bringing me the food. I think he cooked the food and everything. He seems like the only guy here. I think it's a one-man show right now, guys. And I'm gonna introduce you to him in a minute. I was actually talking with him when he was opening the bottle of wine. Unfortunately, the camera did not cooperate with me. I asked him if you eat the skin and he said that you do. So I'm gonna get me some skin. It's actually a really thin skin, guys, and I'm gonna get me some, I'm gonna get me some of that nice white fish there, guys, and I'm gonna go ahead. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay, a little crispness, a little bit of flavor in there, so very nice, actually. It's really nice when they bake it like that, guys. It's razor thin, so I actually did not really taste um, any kind of fishy taste, anything like that. Let's get in there, guys. Look at that. Look at this delight we have today. And just the right amount of garlic, not overpowering. What a great choice, guys. And for eight euros, oh my gosh. In a good restaurant, you're talking over $20 a plate, if not more, just for the bass. Unbelievable. And probably five or six dollars for the wine. So half the price you would pay in the United States. Starting to disappear. Pulling a disappearing act, this sea bass. I was actually able to pull the bone right off, guys. I just kind of lifted it and pulled it right off of the meat there. You can see that I separated it now. So I've got this nice bed of white meat there, guys. I'll have to say, I really love this type of fish. First of all, it's very healthy, it's baked, and I like that a lot. Well, I was looking for this kind of meal in Spain and not easy to find unless you want to pay a lot of money. The fish has such an amazing flavor. We've got some butter, the olive oil. Wow, guys, just together. I'm gonna give this plate a 10. It's perfect and the price is right too. So it's gotta be a 10. And wow, you gotta visit this place if you are in Porto, guys. So he talked me into dessert, guys. Take a look at that, a homemade cheesecake. This place, guys. This place, and this is three euros. Where are you gonna get a dessert like this for three euros? You know cheesecake is expensive, guys. This is what I've been waiting for in Porto. This is the place, and this is the value here, guys. Wow, absolutely phenomenal here, guys. This place is gonna get a 10, and it's not that. Normal, I would give it 10, guys, you know that, and that's what makes it so special, guys. Has everything, has a value has a great food, and look at this. Even a great dessert for three euros, guys. Three euros, very light. Cheesecake is not heavy. That's gonna be nice, too. It's almost like a cheesecake mousse, and this has maracuya and passion fruit. Mmm. Very light, very creamy. Not your traditional cheesecake. I like that, too. Nice thick graham cracker crust on this as well. Well guys, 16 euros for all that. Unbelievable, sea bass, rice, coke, the glass of wine, and the dessert. Quien cocinado? No, I see my cuisine. Ah, está arriba. Okay. 
Bueno, eh, ¿tu nombre es? Rui. Rui, ok. Wow, guys. This place was fabulous. Fabuloso. Delicioso comida. Wow, guys. I am so impressed by this place. Pues mucho gra uh, bien. Muchas gracias. Ok. Uh, obrigado. Mucho, sí. Man, I love this place, guys. What a place. You should come here definitely if you are in a Porto. And el nombre de este lugar otra vez es? Acuncaneco. Acuncaneco. Okay. Hey, muchas gracias. Okay, guys. So don't miss this place. If you are in Portugal, guys, I'm going to give it a 10. I love it. And I hope to see you here one day. So we'll see you in the next video, guys. A travel addict, a guy. Take care of you, one.